Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org. Coming to you this Thursday morning, September 15th. We are looking at Window Traders, market profile of the ES and SPY. And a day that spent pretty much digesting a huge move from Tuesday. Uh, but again, the bears with the upper hand as we played below yesterday's low. Mostly in the lower distribution all day. Taking back only one set of single prints. Right now, pre-market, as you can see, in ES and SPY, we're trading firmly inside of yesterday's range. Again, back where we were until the afternoon. Remember, we spent a good part of the day above the opening. Well, we went back and forth through the opening, but way above half back, only to try to force lower late in the day to make a new low and have those shorts cover. So now we're, we did the majority of the overnight right back to where we spent the first nine time frames when we were nine for nine. Q's a little differently. Look at this. They took out yesterday's high in the pre-market, but now they're towards their pre-market lows. And Russell, kind of the same thing. Took out yesterday's uh, high so far in the overnight, but right now trading back inside the range. Overnight high for spies, 395.89. Overnight low is 393.41. Um, I'll, I'll be missing the opening today. I hope to be back between 10 and 10.30. Um, right now, Again, selfishly, I hope we open right in the middle of here so we have some chop and I don't miss uh, any kind of significant move. Right now, pretty tough game plan to give. You know, yesterday's volume turned out to be pretty good in SPY. It was $85 million. Not that bad. Um, so, uh, again, we had $123 million the day before, but still not that bad. Game plan for now or 9.30. Look, if it's going to open right here, we're in Chopville, right? The, for me, the daily was still pretty much in balance. If we take out yesterday's high, those who are calling it down will firmly be in balance. They'll probably call it a three-day balance, which would be Tuesday, Wednesday, and today if we take out yesterday's high. And for me, if we take out yesterday's low, odds are we're going to take out this low and be firmly down then on the daily. So until we get one of those really two things, there's going to be tremendous chop inside of here. Will there be opportunities? Well, again, push up right now where overnight high is, where G&H's high was, and where the overnight high is. Can you take a short against that with unchanged value? Sure you can. And you can use yesterday's high as you're out. As far as along, again, there's not much to lean on on any push down here. Um... So, again, I think I'd wait for more MGI for long. Right now, again, it's early, but there's a possibility that we open in balance, in value, which is the worst of your risk reward. There will be trades during the day without you looking for them, right? Just have to wait and lie patiently in the grass like that lion to snatch your prey. Uh, and then, quickly, on the chart. Just going to show you the daily. So I had the daily in balance. Some people will call it down. Regardless of what you're calling it, if we take out yesterday's low, the daily will be most likely firmly down for me. If you take out yesterday's high, again, you can then call it either a three-day balance or, since I was calling it balance, you can incorporate this whole thing. It all depends on, your, um, on how you want to see it. Uh, I would see by the end of the day uh, how the market acted, whether I would call it three-day you know, balance, but now I'll call it a three-day balance or incorporate this whole thing. 20-day moving average, like I said, steamrolling towards the 50 again. Um, if you notice, this is the uh, year to date. Each time we've crossed on there, now we had already been down when it crossed. It tried to rally, but then we made lower lows on the year. Same here. Well, this is when we got above it, but when we crossed down below it again, we never really rallied above it. We attempted to here and then made new lows on the year again as those progression of lower highs and lower lows continue. This is a critical high for me right here. First of all, it's an island reversal. And second of all, it's the third high in a succession of lower highs. Bulls don't take this out. We should see new year uh, lows excuse me, on the year. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. Good luck trading today. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.